Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start a new series on my channel. As you can see, there is no Canva page now on, uh, on my screen. And in this uh, series, I'll be talking about uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, from now, every week I try to upload at least one video about uh, AI, general things about AI or just a specific one, one AI feature. Also would like to talk about the image generation, video generation, uh, how to build a prompt. So that will be a bit also interesting topic. Also, uh, somehow the Canva will be included due to the Canva also have lots of uh, AI uh, features. So of course I will show you all the Canva AI features also in this uh, in this topic, but now we will show you. This is a uh, back in time. If someone has this old Nokia phones, remember this snake game. And as you can see, it's uh, even it's working. And this is what I would like to show you: how I created and uh, how can I get in this. Uh, application how can i get it to uh, work so now i just uh, killing myself to <laughs> to finishing the game and i can start to talk what you can see in the picture this is what you see this is a cloud ai just going back to the main main page and just for a quick overview i go into the presentation of this cloud 3.5 Sony and this is actually a free version of the cloud AI uh, in this page you can see there is a cloud that was a uh, the cloud has three different versions the Haiku the Sony and the Opus and now the most uh, advanced version is the the Sony which already have the 3.5 version and this is a free version which is also, also awesome. You can see some calculations, how is the speed. So it's uh, pretty amazing. Also some presentation about it. And this is the best part of the, uh, this 3.5 Sony, the artifacts. If you turn on the artifacts, you can have the preview immediately on the, on the cloud, which is also a, an amazing stuff especially if you are coding and uh, doing this kind of stuff. So I just uh, create this uh, snake game again. And as you can see, they start to create it. And already you can see here is the uh, the code here on the right side, they're also creating a text file for me with the, with all the codes. And uh, this is the really cool part of the artifact. As you can see already, I have this preview. And already you can play with it, which is already an amazing stuff, as you can see. I can play with this uh, snake game, which is pretty amazing. Game over, no problem. I just uh, would like to see that the second step what I made, I just make it more colorful and 3D. So I just asked the cloud to do it uh, more colorful and uh, also with uh, with the 3D version, as you can see already, the codes are here. So you can uh, even download the codes or insert to somewhere else. And it's also amazing, uh, amazing stuff. Plus, uh, as you can see, that's okay. This will, be, this will be a longer thing. As you can see, it's already started. Why well, you cannot start it again? Anyway, the other one was working. Okay. 
preview. No, this one is not working properly somehow. We can close it. So I just open again. Why is it not playable? Kit. Make it playable. Okay, that's a uh, Maybe the next second try will be better, playable version. <laughs> Hope so, the AI now made a bit better version for me. Okay, start new game. Yes. Because why not working properly? Okay, the left is not working. Okay, something still not working properly. Uh, get more color full without 3D ready and play playable okay so just waiting for a ne next version without 3d that was something was not working for me at, uh, on the previous version was that the 3d was also nice this is also yeah sometimes a problem with the ai we ask uh, if this is also a uh, prompt generation or prompt engineering when you don't ask for a proper uh, prompt and uh, let the, uh, the AI... Why not working all the... Okay, now it's working. Wow. That's something weird. <laughs> That's not a standard uh, snake game. But this is also sounds interesting. But as you can see, this is also a pretty cool. Oh, the the uh, the Canva, uh, Canva. Sorry, the Cloud already can do it for us. And uh, let's try with a second one with a uh, with the chess. Asking a cloth to doing some uh, chess game from me, for me. Interactive chess. The only thing is now I have to play. And also, as you can see, not following any rules but uh, sorry it's not good of the real chess so just asking the to do it correctly fully functional chess game you see already asking that's nice and then might be the second one will be uh, just to let to see if I can create it uh, playing against AI so that's I think still just a standard two player mode but now it's uh, as you can see it's a really really long code due to yes and due to the all the other rules and moves and everything okay arrow running code yeah okay that was too long 
Yeah, this is a, uh, also a limitation of this is a free version. I uh, in a uh, in a full in a, in a paid version, you can get longer uh, uh, prompts. Or here also can ask to split the part or just create the first part the first part of the uh, uh, code. Just would like to see if I create this. Playable against AI. Let us see if it, it, it the uh, the code will be not long enough to make it. for me or can create it or again just uh, reaching the maximum length and get an error message mostly used uh, this uh, ai stuff especially the free ones with the length limitation is uh, uh, subtask for when, when, the, when the, the the result doesn't have to be that long as you can see, I can uh, start. Yeah, as you see, uh, no, and I cannot do it. Oh, wow. That's nice. So now I cannot do any, any dodgy things. I can do only real ones. Wow. With this short prompt. And as you can see, <coughs> now I play against the, uh, the AI. That's pretty amazing. Not too smart, but still amaze me. And the only problem is it's too fast and I sometimes <laughs> I cannot even see what the system is doing and as I said this one is not so not so smart but uh, least uh huh. That's not good. So, as you can see, we can easily create a playable chess game. I just uh, add this prompt, generate a playable chess game, and make it ready and playable playing against AI. That's a pretty fast, pretty straightforward uh, prompt. Okay, as you can see, the AI is not the smartest one, but uh, just generated by the AI in few few seconds. That's I think it's still pretty amazing. So now this tutorial is going to the end. Hope so you like it and enjoyed it. Please uh, do not forget to hit that small like button if you really like it and subscribe to my channel. And leave some comments if you would like to have some uh, more AI stuff and leave the comments what you would like to learn what you're struggling if you're interested on a different ai mode different ai programs or image generation or prompt generation prompt engineering or video generation and i will give i will be made more tutorials about the ai but now this tutorial is going to the end thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial Ciao.